Hey guys, Mayas here. Thanks for donations and enjoy the content on the channel. Uh, tonight's video is going to be about the Sicilian Booker variation. I can easily say it can be used even uh, by advanced players uh, because uh, they will be able to take advantage of uh, good points of this h6 move. Also, all those medium and uh, like lower level guys can play h6 because simply your opponents will think that you're a complete passer. Uh, even though h6 you probably see for the first time and you think it, it must be bad, uh, believe it or not, it's not that, uh, that, not that bad move. Uh, why? Uh, because uh, in order to understand the better points of this h6 move and to really be able to take advantage of the move, I gotta show you something. For example, you all heard of Sveshnikov or Lasker or Pelican variation. It goes like this, and when black plays knight f6, knight c3, e5, knight d5, d6, this is one of the most popular openings in the world, currently used by Carlsen in the past, I don't know, Kasparov, everybody else, actually everybody just uh, plays this variation with black and with white. And uh, the real battles are uh, all about bishop g5 variations. That's the real uh, battle, and after bishop g5, this variation is considered to be slightly better for white. Uh, on the other hand, uh, you guys uh, probably heard of um, and you probably saw all those variations in the neither of defense, where in many positions they go with one of the main moves, bishop g5, and where in many positions, when they play like bishop e2, and you do like e5, you just go, for example, move h6, because you gotta uh, prevent this bishop g5 move, because this bishop, if you, for example, do something bad like knight c6, they will just go with the bishop g5, swap off the dark square bishop, and for the rest of the game, they will have, like, fantastic control of the light squares. And now, when I show you, like, all these positions, and when I actually show you, like, one of the main lines of the advanced French, uh, that goes like this, knight c6, knight f3, c takes, c takes, knight e7, and it's considered to be absolutely fine for black in practice, because when you play knight f5, and they take, even uh, though you actually end up with this uh, seemingly, and at first glance, terrible bishop, you just go with bishop e7, h6, g5, and you just want to start pushing these pawns on the king side. Why did I make this introduction? Because uh, for all those, let's just say, uh, good players, you shouldn't underestimate h6 if your opponent does that. I even know a couple of GMs from my country that actually use this system. And here's the story. I've been talking to a couple of friends of mine. They're uh, mostly GMs. And they just sat and mentioned some stupid h6 in some positions. I said, so what? It's not a bad move. What do you think? It's not a bad move. I said, well, there is a good line. So let's play. Play after c5. The guy said, okay, knight f3, what? And then I said, let's go with h6. And they, they just looked at me like very suspiciously and said, so what? So I said, let me show you something. If they go uh, with the line like knight c3, I can play d6, and then when I wait for you to go with d4, I'll go with knight f6. Uh, looks like one of the main lines of the French defense, uh, uh, sorry, Sicilian defense, and basically you can play that bishop g5 move. It is especially good and effective against the guys who like to play bishop g5 at all costs. Secondly, I said if they play c3, which is considered to be one of the strongest moves and refutations of this opening, then you just go with the French. They said, what kind of French is this? I said, play. So they went with d4. I captured, play d5. If they take, I can even take by pawn. I can take by queen. Doesn't matter. So they play e5. And when they play knight c6, knight c3, knight g and e7. Look what I'm doing. I actually want to jump with my knight here to go after the d4 pawn and play one of the main lines of the French at once. And when they go bishop d3 to simply stop that, I go knight f5. And there we go. We have one of the main lines of the French defense, which is considered to be fine, absolutely fine for black. And finally, the main point, if after h6, they go with d4, we just take on d4, 
they take, of course, taking back queen is just bad because you played knight c6, d6, and absolutely fine. So they have to, they, when they take by knight, you just go knight f6. Point of this move is that I'm attacking this pawn. You can't play e5 because I play queen a5, check and win the pawn. If you play knight c3, I go with e5. And once again, there we go. We play one of the main lines of the Sveshniko variation where we actually, uh, where we just prevented bishop g5 by white. Boom. This looks really good for black. And uh, from experience of some good players, uh, this is actually great. They can play bishop g5 and they actually have lost like theoretical battle against you. From my own experience, I almost have like all wins in blitz with this variation. So I'm not suggesting you this to, to play like in tournament games, but why not? Actually, there were like so many good players that used it in the past, but actually my vote goes to this variation and to use it in blitz and rapid mode. So, for example, if e5, they play knight f5, you just undermine knight with d5. When they go with knight db5, you go d6, they can't play bishop g5. Line with a4 that literally everybody goes with, you play bishop e6, you kick this knight away with a6, and here you choose. Either you break with d5, and you remember which words, once you break with d5 in the center, you're fine, and you can play queen c7, playing like some sort of knight or defense with the knight bd7, bishop e 7 castles, with absolutely, absolutely fine game for black. And finally, if they go with knight d5, uh, because they just tried knight c7, you take on d5, if pawn takes, then you just have an easy game. You kick this knight away, play bishop e7, short castle f5, and black is good. If queen takes, you just go knight e6, bishop e6, you go a6, you go bishop e7, and rook c8. I want to make castle. In some positions, I want to sack this knight on d4 to play with the bishop pair, but on the other hand, to win control of the dark squares. You know what? If this is the one of the best variations against this opening, if c3 is one of the best variations against this opening, and you know that you should play e6, if knight c3 is just a good logical waiting move by white, but where you actually play tones of different knight of type of positions with e5, or you can just play knight c6 and play type of rouser defense where they don't have the main move bishop g5, well, this could be considered as a very, very serious an interesting weapon in Blitz for all of you. Hope you enjoyed this uh, video and uh, we actually carry on with opening repertoire for white and next one will be about the Pierce opening. Bye bye guys.